Yeah. Uh, gay pride. Woe to those who call evil good and good evil. Yeah. It's like they are saying that this is good and that when you say that what they're doing is wrong, because morally it is, it's, it, it's evident in the human condition yes. that nothing is going to happen when a man sleeps with a man. Nothing. I mean nothing good. You're not going to have children. It is abnormal. I don't care if it feels good, it is abnormal, and yet they call it good. And I don't understand the thought process. I don't. You know, if people do that and they want to just go do it in the dark, that's right. Oh yeah, Romans 1. That's exactly right. That's okay. Well, here, let's finish up 54. 54. He offered a sacrifice there in the hill country and invited his relatives to a meal after they had eaten. They spent the night there. Early the next morning, Laban kissed his grandchildren and his daughters and blessed them. Then he left and returned home. Okay, end of that chapter. Please remember where we are next week. But it's kind of sad. The whole, the whole account is very sad from the beginning to the end. And yet there's good in it. And God's providence is seen in it through from beginning to end. But you got to think of the sadness of Laban saying goodbye to his family, his daughter, never see them again. You've got to see the, the loss that he incurred because of his own blindness, the whole, whole ball game. But anyway, that's the way of the world. I love Love to read these things, no matter how they make us feel. And, uh, uh, you know, you get up, you get down. But in the end, it teaches us something about oh. human nature. Yeah, hopefully. And uh, there you go. All right. Heavenly Father, we do thank you for today. We thank you for the uh, chance to come and look at your word and to just uh, rejoice over it and to see the trials of the past, which should teach us of what to avoid in the future. We don't always do it as a species, but uh, in the end, you will be vindicated in all ways, and you will be glorified for eternity because of what you have done for us in the person of Jesus and having shown us that in the Bible, which tells us of Jesus. And we have every confidence that this book is your word and that it is precious and that it is just meant for each of us personally. And we thank you for it. And we glorify you for it. And it is in the name of Jesus we pray. Amen.